Welcome back Future Medicos. Are you interested in CMC Velour? Have you already registered for the Tamil Nadu Management Quota application? Now in this video, we will see what are the steps that you need to follow after submitting the application to Tamil Nadu Selection Committee. Because this is a question many of you are asking, when should I pay this? When should I do that? What is the next step? So in this video, I will tell you the complete step from start to the end so that you will get an idea about the entire application process until admission for CMC Velour. Please remember that this video is mainly applicable for candidates who have registered under Tamil Nadu Management Quota application. That is the 38 seats that come under the minority network, 10 seats under the CMC staff quota and two seats under the open category. While many of these steps will be similar to government quota students, but Please understand this is mainly for management quota applicants. Tamil Nadu students, please wait. Probably I will do another video to explain the steps needed for you. This is mainly for uh, students who have applied under management quota for CMC Velour. Now, what was the first step? The first step in CMC Velour was registration with CMC Velour. This was done in February, March. Many of you have done it. Then only you are eligible for the management quota seats in CMC Velour. That is the first step. The second step, of course, after the NEET results, you have updated your NEET score at CMC Velour website. This is also, these two steps were already completed. Now that we are in the third step, that is we are registering with Tamil Nadu Selection Committee under Management Quota application. In case if you have registered with CMC Velour, but you have not registered with Tamil Nadu Selection Committee, please do it now. It is very, very important. If you don't register with Tamil Nadu Selection Committee, you cannot get a seat in CMC Velour. Now the registration process is ongoing. Uh, you can go to Tamil Nadu Selection Committee and then submit your application under the Management Quota. This Government Quota is only for Tamil Nadu native students other students have to submit only through management quota. Now, the last date for this application is 12th July. So only few days left. So in case if you have not completed, please complete your online application. Now, the fourth step, what Tamil Nadu will do after the deadline, that is 12th July, the deadline is over. They will release a management quota rank list. A rank list where all the applicants, not only CMC Velour applicants, all the applicants who are interested in the management quota, NRA quota, minority quota in Tamil Nadu, they all will have a common rank list. The rank list will look something like this and the title will say management quota. Now, once this list is published, go and search for your NEET roll number or your name and then find it out. Say, for example, your name is Aishani Singh. Then you know what is your application number. You know what is your rank within the management quota. Now note down this. Note down the rank. Note down the application number. Because in the next step, you need that. You need to update your management quota application number and rank at CMC Velour website. So once Tamil Nadu publishes the management quota rank list, take note and then go to CMC Velour website. There will be a a link for you to submit the rank and application number. Once you do that, then um, CMC Velour will release the rank for you, which you can check at their website. At the same time, the Tamil Nadu Selection Committee will also publish a rank list for minority network separately, staff quota separately, and open seat separately. Three separate merit lists will be published purely for CMC 50 seats that comes under the management quota, right? This is how the CMC website will look like where you can log in and then check your rank. For example, this candidate has a rank of 1181 under category 67, which means the open seats, the two open seats, this candidate is ranked at 1181. So depending on your category, it will show here and what is your rank. Say for example, if you have applied under minority network, a diocese, Say, for example, you come under CSI Trichy Diocese. Then it will show you come under CSI Trichy Diocese and what is your rank within the diocese. Okay. So know your tentative rank within your minority network organization or general merit category for MBBS course. Now, this is one list which you can check at CMC Velour. At the same time, Tamil Nadu also will publish a rank list. You can see that this is minority network category. You can see what is the diocese with which has sponsored you what is your score and within the diocese you can check what is your rank typically 
rank one candidate has a good chance to get a seat. Second rank, third rank depends on whether the first rank candidate is joining or not. If the first rank candidate is joining the college, the others within the diocese will not have a chance. You will also find a list for CMC Velour staff quota. This is the staff quota list. And also you will find the open seats, the two open seats also, there will be a separate list. Now, after you check your rank list, Tamil Nadu also will release a counseling schedule for round one right counseling schedule which will look something like this you can see that this is for 50 percent seat of cmc velour under management quota you can see that the different steps involved in the counseling the first one you need to register for the counseling earlier you have registered but this is registration for round one counseling then you need to make the payment of counseling fees and the security deposit many of you are asking when should i pay the security deposit this is the step right when you when you register then you need to pay make the payment of counseling fees i think the counseling fees is thousand rupees and then the security deposit is one lakh you need to make the payment, then you can do choice filling and then you can lock the choices. Lock the choices is nothing but submitting the choices. And then you can see that the date is about one week is given last year. This year we don't know. Last year they have given one week for all these steps, right? Registration, payment, choice filling, choice locking. Now when the result, the result is indicated in two days they will publish the result. After the um, choice locking deadline closes, Two days later, they publish the result. Then you can download the allotment letter and then report to the college. And then th that also they have given about five days time for you to complete the admission process. This is the counseling schedule that will be released by Tamil Nadu Selection Committee. Then after this, of course, you need to register for round one counseling, pay the counseling fees and security deposit. And once you do that, you can start doing the choice filling. And once you complete the choice filling, you are happy with the choices. You can log the choices or submit the choices, right? This is how the choice filling will look like. For example, this person is interested in not only CMC Velour, he is also interested in other colleges. So you can see that when you see a remove here, that means he has added that college into his choices. He has added totally four choices. You can see at the top, total choices available 24. He has taken four choices. He is interested only in four colleges. He has taken four choices, which is PSG Institute of Medical Sciences, CMC Velour under general category, two seats. Then you can see uh, he is interested in Velamal Medical College and then he is interested in KMCH Medical College. So depending on your interest, you can fill either only CMC Velour or you can fill more colleges depending on your interest. Then once you fill the choices, then the a dashboard will show you that choice filling is completed right you can see that the tick mark once the registration is completed there will be a tick mark once the choice filling is completed there will be a tick mark you can also download your choices right whatever you filled you can download and keep for your reference the result is still awaited right what is the date the result date is shown here okay you can see here this is the logged choices yeah. whatever the choices i'm locking this is given to me i can download then after the choice filling choice locking deadline closes, then Tamil Nadu will publish the list of selected candidates who were given the seat. That you can see again in the Tamil Nadu Selection Committee website. You can see here uh, which is the college allotted, which candidate got the seat, right? What is the rank, right? You can see that general rank 11 is the first person. He got CMC Velour under general category. So the first two candidates, general rank, right? Two seats, two open seats. 675 marks, 671 marks closed. Then you can see that minority network, these candidates got under minority network. Uh, then there is some staff quota. You can also see in between, you can also see other colleges. People are interested, for example, PSG. Some people are interested, they get PSG. So this is a combined list for CMC general open seats, CMC minority network, CMC staff quota, and other private colleges in Tamil Nadu. And check this list. In case if your name is in this list, if you are selected, then you need to pay the tuition fees and download the allotment letter. Uh, for CMC Velour, there may not be any necessity for the tuition fees because you already pay 1 lakh security deposit, which is more than the tuition fees for CMC Velour. So most likely you will not be asked to pay the tuition fees 
before downloading the allotment letter. But for other colleges, you will see something like this. Once you log in, you will see that this college is allotted to this person, right? He's got allotment in Velamal Medical College and he needs to pay the tuition fees. CMC Velour, most likely, I think you don't need to pay the tuition fees because the security deposit itself is more than the tuition fees. Then once the tuition fees is paid, then you will see this link download your allotment letter. So probably for CMC Velour candidates, directly you will see this instead of the previous screen. This screen may not be visible. Directly, I believe you will see this. Download your allotment order. And once you click this, then you will get an allotment order like this. It will show provisional allotment order. Don't worry. Everyone will get a provisional allotment order. Download this and then go to CMC Velour with the allotment letter and the original documents required by CMC Velour. CMC Velour will publish an instruction, joining instructions. You need to read the joining instructions and then go to the college and complete the admission. You can see here, right? Please report with the allotment order along with nine passport size photographs, right? You should come with the eligibility certificate if you don't belong to Tamil Nadu State Board, CBSC or ISC, then you need the eligibility certificate. Uh, you need to um, be prepared for two days of medical checkup, right? Uh, I think the medical checkup may happen for one full day and the results may be on the following day. I'm not sure, but be prepared for two days of medical examination. Then there will be a list of documents and what is the procedure everything will be published by cmc velour this you can download from the cmc velour website and follow it exactly but remember you won't have a lot of time so be prepared to travel if you are in some other state say for example if you are in west bengal you need to come to cmc velour after the allotment order you will be given only five days right it may vary this year they may give seven days they may give three days i don't know but be prepared to travel as quickly as possible. Now, once you have visited the college, surrender the original documents, pay, pay the hostel fees, everything, right? Complete the admission, then you can start the college. My best wishes, you have joined one of the most uh, prestigious colleges in um, India. It is one of the topmost colleges in India. My best wishes for you to become a great doctor. Let's say, unfortunately, you did not get a seat in round one. Then what should I do? Then you need to wait for second round. If there are vacancies in second round, then you need to follow the steps I have explained earlier. You need to wait for Tamil Nadu to release the seat matrix and the round two counseling schedule and then follow the steps. Of course, you don't need to pay any fees in the second round because you have already paid in the first round, but all the other steps are very similar. Okay, I hope this information is useful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.